Airmen begin to gather and form the elements and ranks of the 376th Mission Support Group in preparation for the casing of their guidons and the symbolic inactivation of the 376th Air Expeditionary Wing at the Transit Center at Manas. The speakers at the ceremony, the U.S. Ambassador to the Kyrgyz Republic, the Honorable Pamela Spratlin, and the final leader of the TCM Liberandos, the 376th Air Expeditionary Wing Commander, Colonel John C. Millard, both noted the significance of the ceremony to the service members of the TCM. As the sun sets and I look upon this formation, it is you. You are the last of the Liberandos. Once a wing of 2,400 strong, we are now less than 200. The 376th Liberando's roots date back to the activation of the 376th Bombardment Group Heavy during World War II, and the 376th took the name Liberando's from the B-24 Liberator bombers the group flew during that conflict. And the most recent chapter of the 376th started more than 12 years before this ceremony. It has been 4,648 days since September 11th, a day we will all remember and forever associate with the bravery of our first responders. And it was just weeks later our military answered the call and we carried on defending our great nation. And in December of 2001, what is now known as the Transit Center of Manas, all behind us were just barren fields covered with snow. In the years since the reactivation of the 376th in 2001, Liberandos of the TCM helped fuel 136,000 coalition aircraft, transitioned 5.3 million personnel, which at the time of the inactivation was 98% of all international security assistance and coalition forces moving to or from Afghanistan. Liberandos airlifted 1.4 billion pounds of cargo, and in the last four years that the TCM was keeping track, invested $4.7 million in schools, hospitals, and local communities. Ambassador Spratlin spoke directly to the TCM service members about the importance of their efforts. Every single time that one of you interacted with foreign nationals who worked on the transit center, or the many times that you volunteered to interact with the host nation's armed services, those moments will be moments remembered and will reinforce the positive impressions of Americans and the U.S. military because of the work in which you engaged. Squadrons, group, and wing guidons are cased in black to show the inactive status of the unit. The Honor Guard folded the last U.S. flag to fly over the transit center in this ceremony, marking the end of an era and closing another chapter in the book that is the United States Air Force. For the former Transit Center at Manas, I'm Senior Airman Ross Alexander Whitley. <laughs>